All right, everyone, how many grams of Fe2O3 are produced when 12.0 grams of iron rusts? So this is a mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry problem. We're going from mass of iron, Fe, to the mass of iron oxide, or rust, or Fe2O3. So the problem gives us 12.0 grams to start with, and that is of iron. And we want mass or grams of Fe2O3. So since we're going mass to mass, this is going to be three steps, three conversions. So we'll put all those in and their conversion factors, which are fractions. So our first step, we're starting with grams of iron. We want to get rid of grams of iron, so that's going to be on the bottom of the first step. And we can go from grams to moles of iron, normally one mole. For that, we need the molar mass of iron. Looking at our periodic table, that would be 55.85. So that goes on the bottom and at this point our units of grams of iron will cancel so now we're at moles of iron and we can now go to moles of iron oxide we can go moles to moles using our mole ratios so we're going to get rid of moles of iron and be left with moles of fe2o3 What's the relationship between moles of rust and moles of iron? That is going to be our coefficients. For every four irons, for every four Fe's that react, we're going to get two rusts, two Fe2O3's. So on the bottom, we're going to put four, because that was the coefficient for iron. And on top, we're going to have two, because that's the coefficient for Fe2O3. So at this point, Moles of Fe will cancel with moles of Fe. And then our last step, we want to get rid of moles of Fe2O3. And we want grams of Fe2O3. So what's the relationship between moles and grams of rust? Well, to find that out, we're going to have to get the molar mass of Fe2O3, or specifically how many grams is one mole of Fe2O3. So to calculate that, we look at our formula, and we have two irons in the formula and three oxygens. Okay, keep in mind that two in front, we are not considering that. That is only for the middle step. For the molar mass, we just want the formula, just Fe2O3. So we're going to add together two irons. So two times molar mass of iron again is 55.85, and that's grams per mole, plus three times oxygen. Oxygen's molar mass is 16.00 grams per mole. So 2 times 55.85 plus 3 times 16 gives us a molar mass of 159.7 grams per mole. So that is what goes into our third and final step. We have on top 159.7 grams and that is for one mole. So at this point, moles of Fe2O3 cancel, moles of Fe2O3, and we will be left with only grams of Fe2O3. So let's plug everything in our calculator. We're going to do 12.0 times the top of the first fraction, which is 1, so we can skip that because it won't change it, divided by the bottom, 55.85 times the top of the second, times 2, divided by the bottom, divided by 4, times the top of our third conversion factor, 
So times 159.7 divided by the bottom is just 1. So we can skip that and we'll hit equals. And we should get about 17.15, which we're going to round to 17.2 grams. So final answer, 12 grams of iron rusting in the following equation will produce 17.2 grams of Fe2O3. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.